one way to experience without taking no drugs and how to experience visually how spirits see things and how they be gain in uh, information and intellect in their world in their state of mind and existence is by looking at an object like this and just observe the object don't think don't don't and uh and this is the thing okay i'm gonna tell you um you see this kind of like thing right here this design for everything that everything that you look at whether it's like a sticker or anything allow yourself to project your emotion to that place don't think about a specific situation of uh, or a concept or or any reason just project happiness or sadness just project without looking at the detail of, him, of this that's projecting and connecting emotionally with the object allow this to become an emotional state an emotional activator this this visual content of the physical external object project happiness or sadness to it you know to a sticker just look at it and project happiness to it. You know, just don't think, don't overanalyze that it's actually a cup. Just let yourself be an empty, floating camera, a mindless camera just staring and recording. And projecting emotion to everything. Let this be happiness. Let this design of this cup be happiness. Then you want to have this handle be sadness. Project sadness to it. When you look at it, feel sad. And then move your eyes to this and become happy. By doing that, you're allowing yourself to see and feel like a spirit does. And you're gaining information because you're projecting emotional um, attachment to an object. By doing that without any judgment or without overanalyzing or thinking of it as being foolish, you're allowing the object, like a drug user, you're allowing yourself to go into a self-manifested trip and allow and allowing an external object to tell you a story. What it is, is that the spirits allow everything around them to take them to an adventure and to tell them a story. Uh, for instance, I'm just going to give you an example. That being said, you're projecting emotional happiness and sadness to this. But the thing is, I'll let it tell you a story. There once was a man that was driving down the road. His tire popped and the car stopped. And he go inside. The man called home and he got a ride home. Let this let the object tell you a story. Let it tell you a story. Let it guide you because what it is, this is the thing. This is what the spirits, how they gain information. The external object is part of the universe. It's telling a story that involves both you and the universe. The man is you. The car is the universe. Both of you are going down the road together. The car stops because the tire pops. It's a story. Both of you are involved in this. You get to ride home. You know? It, it's a story about you and the universe. The, the, the physical external objects are basically telling you a story about you and the universe. Both together. That's what that's what the external uh, that's what the acid trip is and that's how spirits gain information. For every object that they look at, the object is part of the universe. And without the anchor and the aesthetic and the clogging of the psychological worries of the human body, you are now able to just let yourself go and go take it into adventure by observing your environment and by appreciating everything you see because you're attaching your emotional self to it. And by just looking at objects like a person does when they're on a trip, they go on a trip because the object is telling them a story. And the object is telling them a story that involves both of them, the object, the universe, and you. You know, the object, the universe is the car, and you are in, you are the man in the car, driving down the road. That's a story. You look at the object and you allow every crevice of the object to tell you a story about it. To tell you a story about you and to tell you a story about it.
both together. Look at every crevice of the object. Uh, look in the splendor of it. Let, um, be engaged. Let yourself be taken away. Let yourself be uh, marveled. Be in wonder. That's what it is. That's how spirits gain information when they leave the body. They're able to let go and gain information in everything that they look at. And also with other spirits. And as Ricky says, but is, thank you guys for watching. And I want to talk about more, but I'm going to have to edit it and make it shorter. Thank you guys for watching. Hope, it, hope this wasn't like.